Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Fading Hearts. Hello. And he's here. Yes. Um, I like the fact that I actually uh, did my thumb, sort of like, and he's here, sort of pointed with my thumb. What, the screen or to the side of you? Just to the side of me. Okay. I don't know what, I pointed at my second monitor, really, but, you know, it's just like, I live he's in not even PC. there. I live in your PC. And everyone lives in my PC, eventually. <laughs> I mean, yeah. No, that's... In, in, that's silly. This is like going to turn into a really bad Tron knockoff. Probably. All right. Okay, let's put some books back on the shelf. Databases. Yay, Naffle. And we want to put little... No, it was... Royal Guard's life? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um... Hmm. Yeah, we might as well do some work because we haven't for a few days. Yeah. And we've got a boost, so maybe we can do loads of lots of awesome. Database. Oh, 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 okay, we got it. To oh, it's got to left one. Okay. <laughs> Why is the bar going down? I don't understand. Oh, my piss has decreased. Yeah, we need to rest at some point. Oh, is it? Is it me? I suppose it's me. Uh, it might be me, I'm not sure, because it snuck away from my guard, oh, so... Oh, you, you, you start then. I can't remember the voice I did for this, no? It's intermission time during the tourney of the White Swan. I snuck away from the guards, and I'm wearing <sighs> a hooded cloak to disguise myself. I enjoy running around the halls of the arena without people knowing who I am. Since it's the finals, there are even more people than usual today. Although, now that I think about it, my recent return probably has a lot to do with it too. Yes, it is him. Even when no one else is here, the arena is a fascinating place to visit. Bull. The stone archways and pillars, all intricately hand-carved by the king's greatest artisans, never cease to amaze me. Constant renovations on the hand-carved gold inlay wooden or ornaments fascinate me. Usually just a grand structure would have been sculpted by magic, so the fact that this was built entirely by men is astounding. It's pretty old now, but even so... I, I didn't see the end of that sentence. Sorry. Even so, it's still very sturdy. Hey, hey. <laughs> right now, I think I'll step outside where it's less crowded. The heat of so many people packed into the halls is starting to feel oppressive. I head towards one of the doors in the back, where I know, when, well, back I know to be the least used. But when I draw near, I overhear a pair of voices on the other side. So you really think you can beat me this time, huh? Better pinch yourself, sweetie, because you're dreaming. Ha, that coming from you, you may as well forfeit right now because it's going to be me standing by the prince and giving me that, giving that kiss. Sounds like verbal sparring between two of the magic users in the tournament. I consider leaving, but find myself listening in. You don't make me laugh. My grandpa's spankings sting worse than your pathetic attacks. Finally, I place her voice. It's one of the champions competing in the finals. I don't recall her name because I don't really care. But I do know that her spells were remarkably powerful. <coughs> Such misguided bravado. You're all power and no skill. I cast circles around you, win the prince's heart with my kiss, and become the next queen for certain. You're a little late on that one. I've kissed him already. I must say he's awfully cute when he blushes. Since I'm an only child, the girl who marries me will become queen regent, as they just said. Or regnant. Yeah, oh god, not again. <laughs> yeah, okay. Queen regnant? Is that the only reason they try so hard? Just to become queen? Full of disgust, I turn away from the door and leave them to their petty bickering. As long as I'm the firstborn prince, nothing else matters to anyone. Least of all my royal mother and future bride. <laughs> Dream stirred something inside me. Piss. Piss. <laughs> oh. Ah. Just waking up. Just not there. I'm just waking up in school. Ah. <laughs> what the fuck? What happened? Here? What? Who's you? Ah, uh, Sophia. Let's talk to her. Yeah. I've forgotten a voice. Oh, did you need something? Hmm. There yeah, you go. That's the... that's the one. I don't have anything particular to ask Sophia. Shall I just chat with her? Yes. Yeah? Why Treat her like a human being rather than information dispensary. Have you heard of the manga of Royal Guard's Life? Hmm. I think Alex might have told me a little about it. I see. I thought it was kind of interesting. Characters really really sucked me into what was happening. <laughs> I like the way you hesitated. <laughs> I, I, whenever that w that word particularly comes up, I pause just to make sure I'm not reading what I think I'm reading. <laughs> How often are you reading what you think you're reading? I, I'm, I'm, I exist on the internet, so quite a lot. Mm. 
Really? <coughs> yeah. Mm, I enjoyed reading from the main character's perspective. You have a point, no? Normally, a story like that would be told from the Queen's perspective. The old guard would have been a minor character at best. It's different from the other stories I've read. I guess those anime stories aren't half bad sometimes. Mm. Why do you think they're. What did you think they were all like? Herbs. Well, I thought it was all about guys fighting and blowing things up with characters shallower than a kiddie pool. Mm. <laughs> What's so funny? I like how you said that. Sure, there are some manga like that, but there are also some with strong plots and characters that make you think. I thought I said something strange. Nah, if you don't watch anime, you can't only be expected to know anything about it. Yeah, because you only live in a culture that idolises it. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's easy to forget how th things are from someone else's point of view. I know, she just blushed. Ooh. Oh, God. I know how that feels. Mm. Yay! Saying, seeing Sophia smile oh. like that makes me need to pee. Uh, <laughs> I'll be going now. Um, till next time. Mm. Mm. You did? Spend some time practicing my magic. I'm assuming apparently. that's a euph euphemism. Yeah, that's what the screen's black. Um. Yeah. I think we should read that book. Yeah. Um. Let's go sit in the park after that night because that's not weird. Um. <laughs> I start reading A Royal Guard's Life, Volume 1. The story takes place on an island floating in the sky. The main character is a young woman named Viola. She recently graduated from a magic academy at the top of her class, and her lifelong dream is suddenly fulfilled when she's chosen to become the newest member of the Royal Guard. Are there any men in this setting? Like, <coughs> aside from the prince and a brother? <coughs> the new king is a handsome man named, uh, named Arus, working tire tirelessly for the sake of his people. He possesses a rare gift for diplomacy and winning compromises from people who normally bitterly disagree. Viola quickly comes to respect him immensely and vows mm -hmm. to serve him loyally for the rest of her life, you know what I mean? Yeah. But her, her admiration quickly gives way to romantic feelings. <sighs> Magic barrier. Yeah, this is the best selling all guards life series. I guess forbidden love is a popular theme these days. Mm. Whole lot of piss. Lots and lots. We need to rest somewhere. Oh, cool. Talk to Sophia. Did you need something? Sorry, I have. To... Okay, so. Okay. okay. Go somewhere else. Um. Calf. Actually, what we could do is try and hang, just hang out in the bubble tea shop, see if anything happens. Yeah, that's probably a good thing. Just relax. Yeah. Yay! No I stress. Feel, I feel better now after resting for a bit. Right. That it. Yeah. That it. Oh. oh, a bit disappointing. Yeah, maybe Evening. The the yeah. You learned barrier. Yay! Oh, we can call people. Yay! Finally, we can have some social interaction. Right. Rina. Yay! Ring. Hello, Ryu. Hi, Rina. Want to hang out sometime? I no, love piss you. off. Mmm. Is the park okay with you? Let's meet up tomorrow. Call the other, call Claire, I guess. Uh, yeah. Hello, Ryu? Yeah. Hi, Claire, I want to hear it sometime. Sure, let's go talk at the park again. Let's meet up two days from now. I sense a pattern. Yeah. Um, let's check our bookshelf. Put books on the shelf. Mm -hmm. Royal Guard's Life. Did we read number four? I'm not sure. Let's Did check you have... the books. I'm just reading them there. Can we read them out? Yeah. Go on, oh. back. Go on, don't take a book and it's just... Read a book. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, we can read databases more. Ah, uh, but no. No. Uh, Should we read more Provisional Princess? Yeah. I start reading Provisional Princess Volume 5. The time when the Queen's successor will be selected is rapidly approaching. Celia is desperate to be chosen. But doubt she is truly the strongest magic user in the land. Yep, me too. As she wonders what to do, one of her court ladies inform her that getting married is a surefire way to become more powerful. But Celia is hesitant to go what? along with this because it sounds batshit mental. Yeah. 
takes a solitary stroll to clear her mind. And as she walks, she finds a bugger who entreats her to spend a little more time conversing with him. In the meantime, the court lady secretly arranges a meeting with some of the Queen's advisors for the princess to be betrothed to the prince visiting the country. Oh god, I can see where this is going. Yeah. When Celia finds out, she's torn between her desire to become the Queen and her desire to be honest about her preferences to marry for love. Mm. She confides her dilemma to the bugger, who continues sneaking into the palace to see her, despite Celia's ways that he'll be caught and punished. I bet he's the prince. Yeah. Eventually, the day of the wedding ceremony arrives, but she ultimately realises she can't go through with it and why. She loves the beggar. Yeah, she tells her son guest she'll not marry the prince because she loves someone else. Suddenly, the prince reveals himself to be the very bugger she loves. <sighs> yeah. When he saw the efforts Celia was making to earn her place on the throne, he decided he had to win her heart by his own efforts as well. The two of them were joyfully married, but an ominous hooded onlooker hints that the author might draw a sequel at some later point. <laughs> I go to bed and fall asleep, utterly disappointed in the storyline. Mm. Before I leave to meet Rena at the park, my phone rings. It's no one I know, but she introduces herself as one of Rena's classmates. How the fuck did you get this number? Yeah. She tells me that Rena has been falling asleep on her, at her desk recently, which is completely unlike her. I doubt that. Yeah, me too. I promise I'll ask about it. Despite my late start, I'm still on time because Rena's always five hours late. Hey, Rena, how's it going? Hi, Rena. Great to see you. Well, whatever else might be happening, it doesn't seem to be bothering her too much. Mm. I guess things are always brighter if you're with, fr with your friends. Her smile is so soothing. It makes me need to pee. <laughs> Two of us set out along the path in silence. Oh, then why, why are we reading this? Yeah, I steal a sideways glance at her, but nothing about her demeanour suggests anything is amiss. Still, something's definitely been up late, been up lately, and I did make a promise. Rena, is anything wrong? Mm, like what? I heard you've been sleeping in class lately. Ah, uh, who told you that? I will have to kill them. <laughs> Don't worry though, I still answer all the correct questions correctly. What? You wake up, answer a question, then go back to sleep? Uh, well, well, maybe. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. Rena, that's not the problem. I'm worried about you, not your grades. Falling asleep in class isn't normal. Unless it's a really boring teacher. Thank you, Ryu. That means a lot to me because I'm a weirdo. <laughs> you interfering with my life means the world to me. <laughs> You're right, there is something, but no one can help me with it. So I have to take care of it myself. I have to sacrifice a few things to make it work But it's really important So it's worth it After all, there's a big day coming up There is You didn't forget, did you? No, not at all Of course not, no We're going to Western Soyama to enjoy the summer fireworks This has never been mentioned previously No, it hasn't <laughs> Right, I'm glad you remembered how could I not? With the way I've just slipped my memory and hasn't existed before. Um, I'm working toward it too. What? Uh, ah, Claire Rena okay. and I planned a trip to the West to watch the famous fireworks this year. Okay. Of course, a trip like that costs plenty of money. Are we meant to be saving up? Oh. Huh? Oh, no. I've already set aside the funds for it, but coming up with that kind of cash isn't easy. Rena's probably working overtime to make enough. Except she just gave you a whole wedge of cash. Yeah. Well,. Don't work too hard, okay? Because you'll pass out and people will, I don't know, draw a moustache on you or something. Okay. But anyway, I'm really worried about Claire and her boyfriend. Don't you change the subject on me. <laughs> Nothing I do seems to get through to her, but things will work out, right? Yes. Yeah, everything will be completely fine. Yes. Yeah. Fine. Do you really want to tell her that? Yeah. Yeah. There's our friend, and we won't let some dirt bag of issues get between us. Okay. I thought she meant, I thought it meant work it out on its own. No. She can just. No. They'll be fine. Well, they'll just come to some weird equilibrium. 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 I like yeah, that. that was a terrible film. Mainly because everyone had a lisp. <laughs> we'll think of something. I'm sure of it. I believe in you, Ryu. I know you can do it. So I can punch scorpions to death. 
I feel a rising sense of determination to That's go and have to, to find the toilet. <laughs> I've stolen beside the river for a while, part <laughs> ways and head home. I feel better after talking with her. I get the feeling that our piss shack stat should be in the toilet and and because nobody ever I wasn't intended to be a pun, but um <laughs> <laughs> But nobody yeah, but right. it doesn't go down at all. I think it goes down over time, because it does when we sleep. Yeah, I suppose so. Um because if you don't talk to anyone ever, you lose some self confidence. You also make no progress in the game, presumably. Yeah, pretty much. Um, Just in your room, mail ordering books and reading them. <laughs> Should we go punch a scorpion or two? Yeah. Forest. This is night time. What are undoubtedly calling for predators like me? Uh. Hey, Score. Uh, Yay! I really want to see Mystica, really. Yeah. It's the only reason why we're really here, let's be honest. Yeah. Because we can't, we are, we are kind of levelling up, but it doesn't seem to make any difference. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm not I... sure who this is. Oh, that's you. Yeah. Hey, where? She lost to a dirty trick like that? Aghast! I only sit there in the audience, dumbfounded, as her opponent has declared the victor. She did really well at first, but her wand misfired at the worst possible time, costing her the match. Mm -hmm. it, it, apparently it happens to a lot of people, their wands misfiring as they get older. But, uh, yeah, well... Yeah. Mm. Someone sabotaged her wand. I know from all my experimenting... Yeah, that, <laughs> that kind of broken spell only happens when you set a wand's modules in a certain improper way. I've done it before to see what would happen. Honestly, I did it on purpose. I did I, it was entirely an experiment to see if that part of the castle would explode. But there's no way she would set her wand incorrectly before a big match like this. Unless she she What sort of black hearted witch wants to win this badly? I think back to the warm smiles and the faces of her and her, her si Oh. Oh. Maybe not. And her siblings that night. She worked so much harder than everyone else to make it this far, but she still has nothing to show for it. It makes me so angry I want to scream. That cheetah doesn't care how many lives she ruins in an attempt to impress the prince. A chance remark I once overheard from his highness prince of mind. Perhaps this world would be a better place if magic no longer existed. At the time I was furious that he wanted the magic I loved to, so much to disappear, but now I undefi finally understand what he means. If I had to choose between magic or the happiness of people like her and her family, I'd give up my mag magic without a second's hesitation. A couple of women signed the approach, interrupting my thoughts. As is my habit, I size up their staves to first gauge what kind of mages they are. To my shock, they're both using non-standard types and arrangements. Dun, dun, dun. I've never seen these combinations before, and the possibilities they suggest make me want to bombard them with questions. This world is a cruel place where people's hearts are selfish and indifferent, one of them says to me. But we have a plan. With your help, we can change everything. She extends to open hand to me, and I take it without hesitation. Really? No hesitation. Yeah. Okay. In that moment, I finally found everything I sought. My head hurts. I can't work out why she did that. No. Ooh, faintly oh, I hear someone sobbing. It was the, it was the mother of all those scorpions we've been murdering. <laughs> Just curled up in the corner crying as we wipe out all her children. <laughs> no, please leave my babies alone. Oh. I don't know where she is, but I can hear Mystica's voice. I better go and rescue her like the plot probably wants me to. I don't want to lie to... Oh, hang on. I don't want to lie to you. <laughs> Let's be honest. But if you found out who I am... Sorry, that should be demonic if it's in red text. I know. But if you find out who I am... I don't know how I could face you anymore. Wait. Hey. Mystica is someone I've met before? Yes, there have hey, been no God clues. Is... Jesus Christ, this is worse than Lewis Li uh, Lewis? Lois Lane. Yeah. Will you please stay away from me? No matter where I look, Mystica is nowhere to be seen. I come in the woods for her, but she successfully evades my search. Shall I explore further? Yes. Yes. Ah, I don't see anything. Ah. Ah. Yay! Yay, violence. No, oh, magic lost. Look at, we've got all these other spells that there's no reason to use so far. Boosh, boosh. Yay! Yay! Again. 
Da 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 da. Yay! Yay! Boop, boop, boop. I think we're actually at the point where we could probably just beat the shit out of it. Yeah. Let's try that, Rex. That point a while ago, <laughs> to be <Yeah>. honest. <laughs> okay, let's try punching it. Punch, punch, punch. Oh. Oh, oh, it, it, it hit. And didn't really do much. No. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's, let's fire one more. Da, 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 da. One more. Oh. Really? What? There we go. Hey. Let's, let's... <laughs> we actually felt it didn't dart out at us. It darted out trying to run away from us. Yeah, pretty much. Hello. Oh, God, please, no. And now we can go you. you always hit first. What's wrong with you? Oh, hang on. I guess this is me. Nope. Yeah, I guess. I sit alone in my personal training grounds located in the wooden mountains surrounding the castle. As much as I relish each visit, I always feel guilty for having asked for it to be built for me. But to be honest, I really need a retreat of some sort. A place to be myself, for myself and absolutely alone. What? English, I'm not good there. <laughs> Being centre of attention all the time is really demanding. I can never hear myself think. But here I can relax and sort out my feelings. Because I wanted it solely for my own use, I asked for a little as possible. So there's only a large stone platform here with a tiny house built like those other, those in the outer realm. Makes me feel as if I've stepped into an entirely different world when I come here. Everyone calls this platform the Prince's Stage. Oh, it's you. Oh, okay. As for how it got that name, I snuck away from my retinue once to visit the village nearest here. As I was passing through, I was struck by a pale girl in a white dress complaining of boredom. I felt bad for her and wound up giving the town permission to use the platform as a festival ground. The day I made the proclamation also became a holiday called the Prince's Festival, held on the Prince's stage. Mm -hmm. I also had some training grounds constructed for the girls of the village to practice. It wasn't hard. Yeah. <laughs> All I did was announce that I wanted them built, then someone else did it. My old mother was overjoyed with the idea and smiled at me for days on end. She really wouldn't leave me alone, it was quite distressing. It, it made a lot of other people happy too. Come to think of it, that's probably what gave me the idea to turn my personal sanctuary into my own training ground. But today, I'm reading a book in the shade of a tree near the platform. It's a rare and difficult volume, written in a foreign language from the outer world. Whether the stories are real or not, the strange ways of the people there are fascinating. Suddenly, faint voices in the bushes nearby roused me from my thoughts. I am so sick and tired of you getting in my way, I'm assuming it's a woman. Yeah. Huh, I could say the same about you because apparently all women are bitches. <clears throat> Those voices sound awfully familiar. That's right, it's the same two girls I overheard in the last tournament. Alright, fine. Let's have a duel to settle this once and for all. Right here, right now. Guards won't hear anything from this distance and the prince is nowhere nearby. Uh. So the loser gets left behind to be found by the guards and thrown in prison. Works for me. I hear the grim sound of stairs being readied for combat. But what does that sound like? Because presumably they're just holding them. Do they? I don't know. Uh, maybe they hum or something maybe they go... magic. <laughs> maybe they're like lightsabers. <laughs> <laughs> well, they start off about an inch long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Astonishingly, one of the girls speaks yeah. up in trembling voice. Can, can we make a deal, please? I, I really have to win the next tournament. I have to. If I don't, my parents will. They'll. And, and I just can't go through that again. They'll starve me to death one of these days. I just know it. Starve her? The idea of a parent deliberately withholding food over a tournament loss is so ridiculous. I can't even wrap my head around it at first. Quitting my teeth, I strain my ears even harder to not miss a single detail. You see, my parents, they really want me to win more than anything. When I don't perform well, I don't get to eat. And, and it gets worse every time. That's barbaric! How dare they call themselves parents, much less human beings. Hmm. I can't allow this to continue. It's cruel, horrific, and, un and unbelievably pointless. Yes, it is. I'm sorry, but even if you say that, I still can't let you win. My mother punishes me every time. It lasts longer and gets worse. I can't take it any longer. I'm utterly dumbfounded by the revelations pouring out from these two girls. I never would have imagined such misery la laid behind their single-minded determination to win. No, no way, this can't continue. I have to do something. I will do something. So then, a final fight here to see who will smile and who will cry in the end? You're on. Neither of us have any choice at this point. 
I hear the clatter of the magic staves again. There's no time. I have to stop them. Both of you, halt this instant. I call that as I reveal myself. Your Highness! <laughs> Put your clothes back on. <laughs> they, they turn and quiet in unison, then sink to their knees, both of their faces are deathly pale. They appear to be around my age, except for their unusually high-capacity staves. They look like two charming, perfectly normal girls who are armed to the teeth, <laughs> who I can imagine studying magic in a carefree <coughs> way with their friends. If I hadn't just heard them confess, would never have thought it was possible. Is it all true? I question him in a firm voice. The two girls glance up at me, startled, but quickly turn away. They seem afraid to meet my gaze. Yes. One of the girls murmurs n nervously. From the day I was born, my parents have raised me to be your bride. Ugh. Ugh. Creepy. Yeah. Every day and night I practice to make their dream a reality. If I don't become queen, um, I'm worthless to them. My parents the same way. The other girls swallow painfully, then continues. Becoming queen is all they ever talk about. Every waking moment I do nothing but train so I may someday win your heart. The looks on both their faces are, are so empty and defeated. It's as if they gave up on themselves the moment I discovered them. Are you aware of the punishment of trespassing here? I inquire. It wasn't my idea, but everyone insisted it had to be this way for my own safety. Yes, to be thrown in prison for ten years, no exceptions. One of the girls answers dully. The other one nods, wants an agreement, and stares at the ground. Knowing this, both of you decided to come here anyway, I demand sternly. Oh, oh God, they were stalking him. Okay. I wanted to learn more about you, Your Highness. Something that would give me an edge over the other girls in getting closer to you. Uh, that was my plan, too. I knew I couldn't stand out enough on my own. I needed something special. Something to put me over the top. Tears are cascading freely down their cheeks now. One of the girls turns her face away from me to hide them. Both of them have been driven into such corners that ten years in the dungeon became an acceptable risk just for that. So, you came here solely because you were afraid of being punished and for no other reason, I ask? Yes, it is exactly as you say, Your Highness. One of the girls replies. Yes, Your Highness, though it no longer matters seeing as we'll both be spending the next ten years in the dungeon. It is, it is truly not their fault. Their parents are the ones to blame. I cannot easily oppose the will of my royal mother, the Queen, in this, or anything else in that matter. But fortunately, she loves me and indulges me despite the fact I was born uh, male. Oh, God. Uh, I am the prince of your country, and you shall obey my commands, I declare. Yes, your highness. They both speak with their heads bowed and in flat voices that tell me that they're ready to accept whatever cruel fate is handed down to them, even death. Can the two of you evade the guards on the perimeter without my help, I ask? They both look up, confused, but with glimmers of hope dawning in their eyes. Yes, we could do that easily, Your Highness. Oh. Eh. Yeah. Then, I, then I command both of you to do so. Now piss off. Yeah. You'll both compete in the next tournament. Afterwards, you'll be approached by a representative from the Royal Magic Academy. I will speak with the headmistress on behalf of both of you. The Royal Magic Acad Academy? But that's the most prestigious academy there is. They only accept the best of the best. One could become a royal guard, an artisan... Or, or, well, anything. Any of the elite magical careers would be possible. That's indeed correct, I said, talking to myself. <laughs> With your natural talent and hard work, <coughs> and Sorry. hard work on your parents. What? Parts. Uh, on your parts, I misread that completely. <laughs> I'm confident that both of you can, can achieve anything you desire. As your prince, I command you to choose the career path that will make you the happiest. Don't become a world guard for any other reason. I had hastily as an afterthought. It will be necessary to live in the academy dorms, however, I smiled at them innocently. Living away from your parents is a sacrifice you make for such an education, you see. Your Highness? They look up at me with tear-filled eyes once again, but this time they weep from sheer joy. Don't think this is simple, simply kindness on my part, either. True, it is remarkable for you to be accepted at such young ages, but you won't be the first ones, or the last ones for that matter. But Your Highness, we are not worthy! One of them pleads to me. You slip past the wall guards who are educated there, I retort. I believe you are both more than qualified and will do just fine. Let the girl bite her lip. Your Highness, you truly are a person deserving of that title. Oh, but I did nothing, I remarked casually. You never met me here, and your acceptance into the Gold Magic Academy will truly be entirely on your own merits. Bullshit. The two girls nod their comprehension. Now, for my last order, I command you both to live your lives to the fullest. 
Therefore, you will now stop crying and start smiling instead. Um. Okay. They drop their staves on the ground and rush up to me. Before I realize what's happened, they've both thrown their arms around me and buried their faces in my chest, sobbing hysterically. Technically, it's a massive breach of protocol, but they've both been living such hard lives. I know they can't help it, and it's the only way they can express their feelings about the little bit of happiness I've given them. Oh, God. Oh, it keeps going, doesn't it? I'm so sorry, Your Highness. I can't stop crying. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Hooray! Hey! It's time. It's time to nope. end. Just as our max piss increases. Yep. Okay, so, yeah. Yay! Yay, we got through that epic long... Oh, that was quite long, wasn't it? That was quite... Yeah. And it was uh, particularly interesting and could have been pared down quite a bit. Yeah. 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 Anyway, we're off. Yeah. Catch you later. <laughs> sure. Bye. Oh.